Hey guys, it's Bobby from Nitro RCX and today we're going to show you how to mix the fuel for the 5th scale uh, series, 5th scale uh, fuel e-series uh, by Exceed RC. Uh, I'm going to show you how to mix the fuel and uh, you guys have been having questions on how to start it so I'm just going to show you the factory needle settings for the high and low speed and uh, just give you a quick uh, guide on how to start this thing up and uh, break it in and run it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to move this aside and move on over here to the fuel. I'm using two-stroke uh, motor oil. This one's by Cashflow. You can find a lot of different brands as long as it's two-stroke motor oil. Uh, you want to mix this with uh, gasoline. I'm using 91 octane. Uh, the manual calls for 91 to 93. If you got 93 in your area, that's the one I would use. Uh, but I'm, I'm in California. I found 91, so that's what I'm going to use. Uh, <clears throat> you want to mix it 25 to 1 ratio. So that's uh, 25 parts gasoline, 1 part uh, oil. Uh, I have a bottle here that goes up to 500. I think that's in uh, milliliters. Uh, so, I mean, you guys can find different ways to mix it as long as it's 25 to 1. I'm um, using this bottle, uh, which makes it easier, uh, visual visual uh, lines to help me uh, mix it. So I'm going to fill the oil up to 20 and then I'm going to fill the the fuel or the gasoline up to 500 which gives it a 25 to 1 ratio. This is good ratio to start off with to break it in and uh, if you if you want to run uh, a different ratio that's also fine just make sure you have enough oil in there. Uh, but if you don't know what you're doing uh, you definitely want to stick to the 25 to 1 uh, ratio. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I made, I made this out of another fuel bottle, basically I just cut it in half. If you guys have a funnel you can do that as well. So I'm going to put oil in here and pour it in until it hits the 20 mark, which is that bottom line. Do a little shit. Give it a little shake there so it all goes in. I think I put a little bit too much in there so I'm going to pour some back in. And now I am at 20, that bottom mark. I'm going to pour fuel in there up to the 500. Getting a little sloppy here, spilling it all over the place. Okay, I'm at my 500 mark. Just enough, because I'm out of fuel. Gotta go get some more. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you're in a well-ventilated place. You don't wanna be breathing the fumes. It can get you lightheaded. But there it is. That's the mixture, um, 25 to one ratio. Just give it a little shake there, mix it up nice and good. Okay, moving on over to the car, or the buggy, I should say. Fill tank's right there, just want to fill it up. I'm going to put the cap back in. You want to make sure that rubber o-ring is set properly so there's no leaks. So once it's set in there properly, cap it back on there. Now when you get this buggy out the box, it's already factory set. If you do play with the needle settings, mess it up and you want to go back to the factory settings, it's one and a quarter turns out on the low speed and one and a half turns out on the high speed. Those needles are located here on the carburetor. So if you do mess up, remember it's one and a quarter out from full uh, lock on the low speed and one and a half turns out from full lock on the high speed. Uh, once you get the factory needle set, you want to turn on your radio. And then you want to turn on the car. Okay, just to check, it's got batteries. Okay, and then you want to choke it first. Or actually, you want to pump it. You want to hit, just kind of squish this a couple times, get the fuel pumped in there. 
Once you see fuel in there, you want to choke it, which is on this side. Choke the carb, put the lever down. You want to pull it until you hear it about to start. So give it a couple yanks. All right, when you hear it about to start, it sounds like it's about to start. Then you put the choke back up, pull it again, and it should fire up. All right, so that's how you start it. You wanna make sure you warm up your engine before you drive it off. Okay guys, so when in doubt, just go back to the factory settings. Uh, always remember temperature, humidity, elevation. Where, where you're located really matters, and if the weather changes drastically, it also affects your tune. Uh, so when in doubt, go back to factory settings and retune from there. Um, hopefully this video showed you guys the basic steps on how to start up your fifth scale uh, fuel E car. Uh, remember to get the right mixture for your fuel and oil. Make sure you got your factory settings. Pump the bubble so you get fuel in the bubble. Choke it, pull it a couple times until it's about to start. Unchoke it, pull it again, and it should fire right up. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys. Uh, if you guys have further questions, you can always go on to rcdiscuss.com or go on to YouTube, go to the video, and ask your questions there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you out, and stay tuned for more videos from Nitro RCX. See you guys later.